Today's a big day because today we are starting with um, wet sand blasting for real. Okay, so let me. We did a video before about this, but um, this one is the proper one. Let me show you quickly what equipment we use. So we have the main piece of equipment is the character. So this is a K7, a high pressure washer. We will be wearing goggles, of course, and um, FFP2 masks, which are in the pocket right now. So this is the regular sandblasting gun. This part here will be detached and replaced by this tool here which is the Kercher sand blasting kit so this will be attached to the pressure gun and then the water pressure the water jet that goes through here creates a suction in this hose and this and then sucks up the sand so we also need sand we have Kercher professional pro um, sand blasting media and we need water and somewhere there is also power Let's see how it works. I think we're going to do approximately between two and four square meters. So we can estimate how much media we use and how much time it takes. Looks properly tented in. We're using the Kercher wet sand blasting kit so there will be only minor dust produced because the sand blasting media is mixed with water and then pressurized and put on the boat so there is less a lot less dust actually but um, this should keep most of the stuff then inside here and floor is wrapped as well so let's see how it works all right kira is now measuring the sand because we want to try to estimate how much sand we're using and so the plan is to have about half of it in this bucket and then see how far we get feels great is that about half have a check it feels to me like this is still slightly more yeah. Uh, but not much of a difference. Maybe a little bit. So you pour a tiny bit more and then that's it. So it's not scientific. But um, in order to give you guys an idea how much does this care here wet sand blasting kit actually work for steel boats? Yeah, how much sand do you need? That's actually our biggest question. That is our biggest question. Now this is slightly more, so we're pretty close. And this is 25 kilos, so this should be each 12 and a half. And let's see how far we get. I think this is also yeah. good. Oh, we can actually say precisely how much this is. In liters, but, but it's not kilos. Yeah, but I think we have the density. So this is eight liters. Eight liters and it's 2.5 gram per square centimeter. Yeah. So eight liter is 8,000 square centimeters. So 8,000 by two and a half, 16, 20, 20,000 yeah. 20, grams, 20 kilo. That can't be right. No. If this is 25 and about half full, this can't be 20. So, um, or no, we did the calculation grams. wrong, man. No, no, no. 2.5 grams is the, the density of one particle, and 1.4 grams per square centimeter is the volume of the, the mass of it. So 1.4, if 8, 1.4, roughly 1.5, so roughly 12 kilo, we're good. This is, this is good. Okay, let's try. Yeah. Okay, we are ready to start. 
so let's hit it. Oh. Are yeah, you well. ready? Well, we'll see. I'm a bit scared. I'm gonna get soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> So that was maybe 10 seconds and this is where the anti-fouling is gone. So we're not trying to go back to steel because we have a lot of um, a lot of layers but we're going to the white epoxy and that seems to work. That was uh, maybe a minute or two and we cleared a bit more. I mean that's not even half a square meter yet but I think this is for such a cheap device I mean the well not cheap but the sandblasting kit is 60 bucks so that's good but how much sand do we have left? Yeah so I already filmed half a so we used almost four liters now. Well, let's use this up and see how far we get. Yeah. Okay, okay. A couple of minutes later, I don't know, maybe five? Yeah. Ten minutes? Five minutes? No, five, no, five minutes. Um, the sand is used up, so we have used up all of the approximately 12 kilos we had. And we have this much. So this white patch is now back to the epoxy. I don't know, maybe half a square meter in total. This is maybe 50 to 40 or 60 to 40, 60 to 50, something around that. And um, the floor looks like this. And I'm looking like that. I'm properly sandy. I'm positively glittery. So it was a bit less than half before because that's the other half and the bucket is pretty full. How many liters? 10 liters, that's right there. What do you say, Tito? There, 10. This is 10 liters. So the top is 12. Oh, well, now I see it. Okay, so 10 liters to this. Okay, let's see how Robert looks when he comes out of the blue cave, sand cave. Ooh. Oh wow, very, very um, shiny. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Completely wet. And completely sandy. Uncomfortable or okay? That's okay, but I think I need a shower today. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. We swap this for this. So in here, this much is now done. So this is one 25 kilogram bag of sand. You can see up there where it stopped. Um, I don't know. This is probably exactly one square meter. I mean, we can measure it, but it looks like a meter to a meter to me or close enough. Here is some places where we went down to steel. So you can see this is the old or the steel was exposed and rusty. Here the steel looks grey and shiny again. The surface looks great for painting, but it's now wet. So all these places, the grey is steel and the white is epoxy. Now the big question is, it's wet. We're gonna remove the blue, let the canary in sunshine do its job and see how much flash rust we get if this method makes sense for a steel boat to go down to bare steel. It will take a while and a lot of sand, but at least to remove the anti-filing from the epoxy, that is fairly quick. I mean, this bag now was how much time? 
half an hour, hour. Yeah, I would agree. Somewhere between that. So, I'm not sure if it's more comfortable than with a grinder. I think breathing wise, there is spray on the mask, but I don't think there is much dust that develops. So it's certainly better for the lungs. I'm not sure if you actually understood anything we said while having the masks on, but um, better safe than sorry. So we'll take down the blue, let the sun dry and then have a look with more natural light and less water. See you later. very messy first we thought this might be a less messy alternative to having a grinder but I'm not sure there's less dust yes but there is sand absolutely everywhere the deck above I haven't been up there but Kira tells me is covered in sand I'm covered in sand I was covered in sand everything is covered in sand so I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is good Okay, dokily. The tent is gone, around one square meter. We used 25 kilos of sand. It took us about three quarter of an hour. So it's almost dry already. I mean, it's a nice white patch where the anti fouling is gone. We managed to go back to epoxy quite smoothly and you can see it is here where we went down to steel and here the flash rust has already begun because this is now wet and it's immediately flash rusting here, 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 here. So everywhere that I had a initially very good surface for painting the flash rust is remarkable. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how much you gain by this. I mean, here you can see it's flash rust, it's surface rust, and here is something a bit more aged. So you probably still gain some, some painting contact, but... I'm not 100% sure if this is good for a steel boat to go back to bare steel because it's wet and will flash rust, so... It can be fast, but it needs a lot of sand. Yes, good for small small patches, small surfaces, but not for a whole hull. Yeah, maybe a whole hull is overreaching a bit. So if you have a steel boat or any other boat, sandblasting your whole button with the Karcher sandblasting kit for the high pressure washer will work. It no. will give a good result. On a steel, on a plastic boat, it will probably give a great result. Um, it will cost a lot because you need a lot of sand. On a steel boat, I'm not sure if the flash rust really is your friend. We pay for one pack of sand, for one 25 kilo bag, we pay 37 euros around that drive. So we are 50 square meters. If we have one bag of sand for one square meter, 50 bag of sands, more than 1,500 euros, closer to 2,000. No. For that price, I can get it sandblasted properly without the flash rust and without getting everything dirty myself. So we probably won't use it. But it might be useful for other applications, as Kira said, smaller parts, if you need something special sandblasted at home, something small, sure, for a smaller plastic boat, why not? But for this size steel boat, probably not. So we hope you saw that video before you started character sand, wet sandblasting and that it was helpful for you to decide on if that is an option or not.